Okay, yeah, my name's Kurt Gretzinger. I farm uh, about 2,100 acres of crops south of Uric, Missouri, in Henry County, west central Missouri. I grow uh, soybeans, corn, and wheat. Most of the soybeans I grow are for Nico here. I uh, grow quite a few conventional beans, and I, for the last few years, probably two-thirds of the beans I've grown have gone into tofu products uh, for export. Well, I didn't know I had a problem until I started using them, so basically, uh, I kind of had in mind that there was ways to buy a few more bushels by you know using some inputs later in the season and uh, and when beans got twelve fifteen dollars a bushel why buying those bushels seemed to make a lot more sense so I kind of eased into it about uh, three or four years ago I started using uh, a uh, foliar fertilizer similar to yield booster and I used uh, ballad. Uh, later on I added insecticide and a uh, oh, slow use uh, or probably a half rate of a commercial fungicide. Uh, just last year why the sugar seemed to be working for others so it was a cheap addition and it sure didn't hurt anything. I had, uh, I had quite a bit better beans than I expected coming out of some pretty rough conditions last year. This year was a real tough year to get started on soybeans. I planted my first beans on the 21st of June pretty late. Uh, in fact I planted all my beans the next three or four days, all my first crop beans. So they were behind schedule. Um, these were all, or most were conventional beans so I put down a uh, conventional pre-emerge herbicide program which controlled the weeds well enough that I haven't really gone back over more than about 10 percent of the beans. At uh, about the oh, V2 or V3 stage, I did go back with a low rate of uh, yield booster, ballad, and sugar. Gave them uh, just a quick run over. Didn't take very much time or didn't cost very much money, and uh, they seemed to have a pretty good jump from that. Just today, I started spraying the last pass uh, of just yield enhancing products. Today, I was spraying yield booster, ballad, propiconazole, and other fungicide at, a, at about a half rate, sugar and an insecticide. Um, the beans that I'm spraying today just look like a million bucks. They're just about, uh, uh, after only about two months, why they're already brushing the bottom of the sprayer as I go over them, but uh, I've seen what happens before. I expect them to look really healthy for at least the next two or three weeks, and that's the time you want it to happen when the little pods are just starting to set. These guys have basically been using this stuff experimentally here and I've just been looking over the shoulder. I, I know they have some premixes which I've never used but they've been kind enough to let me kind of know what's in them and I've worked on my own to find what rates and what witches brew kind of works for me so they've been real helpful to let me know what they're using more or less how to get started at it and then provide the products for me.